I can still remember we had before finalizing our e-government strategy together with uh, the, the, a lot of organizations, stakeholders, or uh, still with Oracle, they participated in the making of our strategy and now we have this conference which will help enormously towards implementation of our strategy. The theme for this year's conference is building on the foundation and it's based on assessing, building on and improving the already established IT systems and infrastructure of the public sector in Mauritius to be in line with global e-government frameworks and best practices. I also understand that this conference is targeting mainly chief executives, chief information officers, project managers, IT managers, and head of IT from ministries, departments, parastatal bodies, and local governments. It will defeat the purpose of preparing a strategy when those who are involved in the implementation of that strategy are absent. I'm very happy that you are here today to listen, to work out with our experts on how we are going to implement our strategy. I'm very happy. Because, you know, I have the firm conviction that whatever you are doing is in line with our government's e-government strategy. And this is of paramount importance. We want to succeed. We want to make Mauritius one among the best countries where you can have good services. Government has left no stone unturned to achieve that end. And we need your help and support. I thank SIL and Oracle for having taken that initiative to do that. And I commend their efforts. And because they are working in line with government's vision in establishing the next phase of transformation that our society is bound to face. As I always say, we have started a journey to move our country from the concept of cyber island to smart Mauritius. Ladies and gentlemen, many countries across Europe and Asia, as well as emerging countries, have launched or renewed their digital strategies in the last few years. But ambitions vary. Like never before, governments have the opportunity of acting as a first mover and embrace innovative technology and legal service delivery models, which are transforming the way we work. Mass digitalization within public service could contribute to organizational change, higher productivity and cost effectiveness, delivering much higher quality services and improving constituent satisfaction. You will agree with me. When we have that ambition of putting people first, we have to establish the necessary framework that was making it happen. And I'm happy. I'm very happy. I must say that when I see all of you here present, I know you have understood the mission of God. Alone, despite all our best endeavors, we will not be in a position to make it happen. You know, when we talk about the government strategy, we have to think in terms of G2G, G2B, G2C, citizen as a kind, the end user. And you're there. You are there to make things happen. So, ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> let me remind you that my ministry, the Commission on Communication Technology, <coughs> believes 
in constantly learning and constantly improving as such the thing chosen today building on the foundation holds much prominence to me personally because I personally believe and have worked with the help of my ministry to realize the vision of our government in making our island the ICT leader in the region. This is our ambition. I think it is a, it's a legitimate ambition for any government. And if you look at the track record of ICT, you will agree with me that we can share that pride with all of you. You will remember, and you know it very well, that Mauritius has always been known as a tourist destination. But we want also to make it now a preferred, safe, and secure ICT destination. For us to win that battle, we need to give the services. It defeats the purpose of having, of being the number one in Africa, in Sub-Saharan Africa. And in so far as ego is concerned, we are, we are the number one in Africa. I don't want to become to have Mauritius as number one. But what is most important, the services that we are offering. E government is not only a question of technology, it is a system. It is a culture that we want to implant so that we give our people the best that we can. I understand that the objective of the workshop is to examine <coughs> is to examine how government, private and parastatal institutions alike can leverage digital technologies to generate economic growth and long-term sustainability as well as leveraging ICT solutions to establish trust between public sector I believe, ladies and gentlemen, that it is very crucial to emphasize that among the many promises of the digital revolution is its potential to strengthen democracy and, most important, make governments more responsive to the needs of their citizens. Indeed, being citizen centric, being more responsive to the needs of our citizens is our main focus.